Question 7. The sample of pure magnesium nitrate was decomposed by heating as shown in the equation below. 2 moles of magnesium nitrate makes 2 moles of magnesium oxide, 4 moles of nitrogen dioxide gas and 1 mole of oxygen gas. A 3.74 times 10 to the minus 2 gram sample of magnesium nitrate. Why have they given me mass? They've given me mass and they've given me a formula because from the formula I can work out MR and using the mass in the MR I can work out number of moles. So let's do that first of all. So MR of magnesium nitrate. I've got an MG which is a 24. Inside the bracket I've got 1N and 3 O's but everything's multiplied by the number outside the bracket. So I've got 2 N's and 6 O's. So I've got a magnesium with a mass of 24, 2 14's for the nitrogens and 6 16's for the oxygen at 148.3. Moles is mass divided by MR so 3.74 times 10 to the minus 2 which is the mass of the sample divided by 148.3. 2.5 to 2 times 10 to the minus 4. Now why have I been given R? R is only appears in PV equals NRT. So PV equals NRT is my gas equation. It concerns itself with gases. And N in there, PV equals NRT. The N is the number of moles of gas. So how can I work out the number of moles of gas? Well, I've made four moles of gas here and another one mole of gas here. Four moles of nitrogen uh, dioxide and one mole of oxygen. I've made five moles of gas. It doesn't matter for the gas equation what kind of gases you've got as long as the gases. So I make five moles of gas. Two moles of the magnesium nitrate make five moles of gas. So one mole of magnesium nitrate, half the amount, would make two and a half moles of gas. So two make five. One would make two and a half moles of gas. I've got 2.522 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of magnesium nitrate, 1 would make 2.5, uh, so 2.522 2 .2 times 10 to the minus 4 multiplied by 5 over 2 or 2 and a half equals 6.305 times 10 to the minus 4. I now know the number of moles of gas. So for PV equals NRT, that's N. Okay, let's have a look at these other things then. PV equals NRT. P is pressure. Pressure needs to be in pascals. It's in kilopascals. To turn a large unit value like kilopascals down into a smaller one like a pascal, I multiply by a thousand. So a hundred kilopascals is a hundred thousand pascals. N I've just worked out as 6.305 times 10 to the minus 4 or 0.0006305. Temperature is 60 degrees C. It needs to be in Kelvin. So to convert degrees C into Kelvin, add on 273. That works out as 333. I think I'm now ready to do PV equals NRT. I've not got V. That's what they want me to work out. So PV equals NRT. P is 100,000 pascals. V, I don't know. They want me to work that out. N is the number of moles. 0.006305 or 6.305 times 10 to the minus 4. 8.31 is my gas constant, R. Temperature is 333. So um, v, v is all of this divided by 100,000. So on the top here, it comes down to the bottom. Divide by 100,000 on the other side. And it comes out as 1.745 times 10 to the minus 5 meters cubed. Now to get meters cubed into centimeter cubed, like they asked me to, they want me to the total volume in centimeter cubed you've got to convert units twice. Meters cubed down into a smaller unit, decimeter cubed, and multiply by a thousand. So that works out as 1.745 times 10 to the minus 2. And then to get decimeter cubed down into another smaller unit value of centimeter cubed, I, uh, I um, multiply by a thousand again, 17.45. So meters cubed into decimeter cubed are multiplied by a thousand. Decimeter cubed into centimeter cubed are multiplied by a thousand again. So every time I go from a large unit value down to a smaller unit value, I multiply by a thousand. So 1.745 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by a thousand gives me decimeter cubed. Multiplied by another thousand gives me centimeter cubed. 17.45. However, it says to the appropriate number of significant figures. If you look at all of these, they're all to three significant figures. So let's round this up. I could round it up or, or down. I always prefer to round up 17.5 centimeter cubed to three significant figures. 
7.2, the mass of magnesium oxide expanded in this experiment is slightly less than that expected. So why do you get less than 100% yield? You're going to lose some of it when you're weighing it out or making it. So some of it is lost. Some of the solid is lost when you're weighing out the product or before you weighed the product out. So whilst you're making it, you've lost some of the magnesium oxide.